We were just talking about personalizing a space with accessories, but another way to do it is with art. And Colin and Justin, you say think outside the box when you're choosing your art. You have so many great examples and you walk the walk, you talk the talk. Like in your homes, you have beautiful, authentic, and different pieces of art. Absolutely. You know, art, darling, it's a time to express yourself. Yes. It's investing in yourself, investing in your future. <laughs> uh, so you can spend whatever you like, okay? Right. This is all about extravagance. And if you look here, so the first thing here, isn't that tapestry beautiful? It's, you know, it's lovely. Hands stitched <laughs> by nuns in northern towns, said no one ever, okay? That is a curtain pole yes. and a couple of tea towels from H&M. Give it up for yeah. When people come to your house, say the first story. Oh, yes. Right? Exactly. It's how you sell it, Tracy, right? Yes. I think that's amazing. You but art can be it. anything. Art can be anything you see you feel an emotional attachment to. And if that's a tea towel exactly. and a wrap from IKEA, go for it. You know what? We got our iron out, we put it on yes. curtain poles, and there it is. And I think it's a great talking point. And that's it one is. of the things to think about art as well. And you don't want art to be anonymous. You want right. it to stand out, especially if you actually are paying some money. Mm -hmm. You want it to make a statement so that people stop and react. Uh, yes, and people will react to that. Okay, what's happening up the top there? Okay, that guy there is because we were able to save so much money, we went absolutely crazy on this particular piece up there. How much did now, you spend? A whole dollar. Oh, wow. Okay, Ooh. so a little oh, jigsaw piece. Now, initially when we found that in a yard sale, Tracy, our plan had been to mount it on a board in the shape and the picture that it should form with a gap between each of the pieces. But oh, as we did that, we, we figured that frame was a little small and that's the frame that we had handy. Yeah. So we popped it in there. But you could do that. I also love, we did a similar project to that in a British show recently, and we did a really high impact fluorescent backdrop. Mm -hmm. And then we put the jigsaw on top and missed a few pieces. So you got that pop of color yes. coming through the picture. So it's just being creative with what you can that's find. Cute. And I love the fact that the market is completely awash with so many gorgeous things. You don't need to break the bank. No. You can save money here, then maybe spend a little money somewhere else. But if you find something that makes your heart tick, then you dish that dollar and you buy that baby. Yes. <laughs> you buy that baby. Yes. 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 I agree with that. And then you have a mix. You know, that's how we dress. We dress high-low. Your art can be high-low, right? Exactly. Make some pieces, buy some beautiful pieces. These are cute. Uh, you know, sometimes it's about giving it a name, isn't it? They, yes. you know, that's what galleries do. They don't just say paintings in here. There's always a name. So we call this our royal family. No, no. <laughs> okay. And we were in a yard sale and we found these old outsized cards. Yeah. And they're a bit yellowed, a bit weathered. And we actually really like that. So we put them in some frames from Ikea. Put four of them there as well. And we just have the king, queen and jack that's of excellent. each of the suits. And yeah. suddenly, you know, there's a story there. It's good fun. It costs absolutely nothing. I, mean, I think they were yeah buck for the cards. Just yeah, take some really creativity and multiples once again. Exactly. Now multiples again is the order of the day over here. Now we found these on an online auction. We mm. found about four or five hundred of them for fifteen dollars. Oh. So they're little vintage letters, okay? I think they actually came from one of the high street stores. Um, but they're great for us. Now bizarrely, when we took delivery, most of the things were F's. Yeah. So there's a lot yeah. of thing going there's on in there. This is an angry wall. I know. It's it said angry. on the listing, it says multiple <laughs> alphabet letters, but most, mostly F's <laughs> and a couple of U's down here as well. Oh. But aren't they great? <laughs> but you know, when you put all those babies together, they really make an impact. It's and the good thing about wall. that is you can change it around. You can make it right. fit into maybe a little architectural nook in your home. Do you know what? We love what we do. And a project like this makes us froth with excitement. Because yeah. if you can find something that doesn't really spend a lot of your money then why is that not fun and it's it's not a risk if it doesn't work then just ditch then it and start cares? again exactly how did you what did you do you glue it do yeah. you, no, we like, did, well we used double-sided sticky tape oh, so okay in oh, right, real right. life I'd probably have fixed them more permanently because I don't know if you've noticed this is actually a TV show this is oh. what's happening here. did I mention that Tracy oh, so it's not real life it's not real life oh, so these okay. babies are actually up with carpet tape <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly did I mention you can put it on a board or something yeah, if you, you wanted to but that's listen the yeah. double-sided tape is not that big a deal or the 3M sticky tape of that course. you can exactly. take right back off. Yeah, exactly. It's all going to work. Now, Tracy, yeah. you love your shoes, don't you? You do. I sure Come do. Come on, girls in the audience, do you love your shoes? I like shoes. Can I get an amen? Okay. okay. So why can't shoes be art? Why not? You know, and they come in a shoe box, don't they? So just take that thinking to the next level. But you can put <laughs> anything in it as well. So we've put these shoes in here that I think look like ruby slippers. They do. Don't they? they? Look it's like kind of got that kind of like Dorothy look. And even better than that, 
These are signed by Annie Lennox. Of Annie Eurythmics. Lennox, keep holding that up. We want to see that, see that, that real there? signature. Which, is that a real signature? That is a real signature. These were Annie Lennox's so shoes. So are you sure that wasn't Justin? No, it wasn't well, me. Exactly. Okay, just no, check no, it. No, it wasn't. And if Annie's watching and they look a bit stretched, it's because Justin's been wearing them. <laughs> you did have no pain, right? They flip into a petite size right. four. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just in case. Yeah, Colin bought them this in an This is a great site. idea. I mean, aren't they? That's an investment because stuff like that really builds collateral value later on, financial right. value. Now, this fella down here, here I again from a car boot sale we picked up about 25 different puzzle cubes Rubik's cubes yes and we thought what are we gonna do with them so we started to play around with them and then we thought let's make a little structure so again you pop on a pedestal and hey presto you've got artwork you made that we made that Tracy That's these very cool. I Rubik's love that. cubes and a glue gun so they're yeah. rigidly stuck together and if you fancy a little twist you can still have a little twist <laughs> down there <laughs> it's actually movable art it's actually my favorite piece Is in it? all of them I oh, think it's you. lovely better than the tea towels Tracy Hi, I like it even Better than the beautiful oh. original custom art over there. Okay, let's talk about this because you've grouped them together, put them in a beautiful case, and this becomes art. So you've got three uh, floor, <laughs> four floors of yeah. fabulousness there. And what's really good about that is if you actually color things together, so everything's in a gold thing, gold color here. Yes, yes. Try and spit it out, Colin. Put your teeth in. His teeth in for red rum. <laughs> I'm wearing a horse's teeth today. Um, if you have one color, then it tells a single story. Yes, I, they're all really good, imaginative, creative. We love getting into your brain. Mm. 